thank you for joining us uh, on the eve of Mobility Week as we unveil our first zero emission all electric bus to go into Lynx operations. Mobility Week is a statewide celebration of promoting safer, more efficient transportation choices and an ideal time to think about how we can improve multimodal options to reduce traffic congestion and benefit the environment and improve public health. Deciding to cut the ribbon on Station 9, serving the Rosemont neighborhood. And along with being the home of some of the very best firefighters Orlando has to offer and having some of the best equipment, Station 9 was also built with firefighters' health and safety first and foremost. So the station was designed to promote diversity and inclusion in the workplace and includes private individual crew bunk rooms, showers and restrooms, and a secure room for special uses such as nursing. Imagine having the power of flight only to spend so much of your day underwater. That's got to be really confusing and terrifying to the fish.
guy who well, like 20 months, almost two years ago, uh, Justin, our general manager, was meeting with the PKZ and uh, the fantastic program of uh, Black Bee Honey. We had a tasting in the, in the room over there. We loved the product, we loved the story, and we decided that right away we want to be partner with them. We want to be working with them and take the, the product to the next level and make it known to the, to the public. I've been waiting for this for weeks. I gotta tell you, I am so ready to do this. I even On September 27th, 2021 budget hearing. Um, as you know, we've been preparing our budget over the last few months. We finalize our budget process with this second and final public hearing. Um, Good news is we are able to continue to deliver our superior municipal services for our residents without having a millage increase for the eighth year in a row. So let's start with the uh, millage and millage rate and budget hearing for the, well, I'll just read the stuff here. This is the second of two public hearings for the adoption of the millage rate and budget for the city of Orlando Fiscal year 21-22, at the first hearing, which was held on September the 13th, City Council adopted the proposed millage rate tentative budget. At this second hearing, City Council will consider for adoption the final millage rate and budget. Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the millage resolution? City of Orlando Millage Resolution, Resolution of the City of Orlando, Florida, establishing the ad valorem tax levy millage rate upon the assessed real property and business personal property tax rolls of the year 2021. The proposed millage rate for the city for fiscal year 21-22 is 6.65 mills, which is 3.09% higher than the rollback rate of 6.4507. Is there a motion to adopt the millage rate? Second. Motion by Commissioner Hill, second by Commissioner Stewart. Uh, Michelle. Thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. On July 19th, City Council approved a millage rate of 6.65 mills, adhering to all trim guidelines. That same millage rate was proposed and approved by City Council at the first budget hearing on September 13th. An advertisement ran in the Orlando Sentinel last Thursday, September 23rd. This final millage rate has remained the same throughout the entire fiscal year 2022 budget development, is within the parameters outlined by state formula, has not changed from the prior year, and is to maintain the city's levels of service. Madam Clerk, is there any request for public comment? No, Mayor. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? And so it passes. Um, Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the budget resolution? City of Orlando Budget Resolution, a resolution of the City of Orlando, Florida, adopting the annual budget of the City of Orlando, Florida for the fiscal year beginning October 1st, 2021 and ending September 30th, 2022. Michelle? The proposed budget is approximately $1.4 billion, including a general fund budget of approximately $545.3 million and has not changed since the first budget hearing on September 13th. The final budget and brief was posted to the city's website on September 3rd and other budget related documents, including the budget workshop presentation from July 19th, the initial budget and brief and Commissioner Nobix have been available on the city's website since late July. Is there a motion to adopt the budget for 20? So moved. Second. Okay, got a whole bunch of So moved. Uh, motion by Commissioner Ortiz, second by Commissioner Burns. Um, any public comment, Madam Clerk? No, Mayor. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> Those opposed? And so the budget passes. Let's go to the second of two public hearings for the adoptions of the millage rate and budget for the Downtown Development Board for fiscal year 21-22. The first hearing held on September 13th, City Council adopted the proposed millage rate and tentative budget. At the second hearing, City Council will consider for adoption the final millage rate and budget. Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the millage resolution for the DDB? Oh, 
on Downtown Development Board Millage Resolution, a resolution of the City of Orlando, Florida, establishing for the Downtown Development Board the ad valorem tax levy millage rate upon the assessed real property within the Downtown Development District of the year 2021. The proposed millage rate for the DDB for fiscal year 21-22 is 1 mil, which is 9.3% lower than the rollback rate of 1.1034. 1 is there a motion to adopt so the millage? Moved. Motion by Commissioner Hill, second by Commissioner Stewart. Michelle. On July 19th, the City Council, on behalf of the Downtown Development Board, set a proposed millage rate of 1 mil. That millage rate was proposed and approved by City Council at the first budget hearing on September 13th. An advertisement ran in the Orlando Sentinel last Thursday, September 23rd. This final millage rate has remained the same throughout the entire fiscal year 2022 budget development, is within the parameters outlined by state formula, has not changed from the prior year, and is to maintain DDB delivered programs. Madam Clerk, is there any public comment? Discussion, hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the budget resolution for the DDB? Downtown Development Board Budget Resolution, a resolution of the City of Orlando, Florida, adopting the annual budget of the Downtown Development Board for the fiscal year beginning October 1st, 2021 and ending September 30th, 2022. Is there a motion to adopt? Move to approve. Motion by okay. Commissioner Hill. Is there a second, Commissioner Sheehan? Yep. Second by. Yes, sir. Second by Commissioner Sheehan. Let's see, Michelle. The total proposed budget for the Downtown Development Board is approximately $4.38 million and has not changed since our first budget hearing on September 13th. The final budget and brief was posted to the city's website on September 3rd and other budget related documents have been available on the city's website since late July. Madam Clerk, is there any request for public comment? No, Mayor. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, the motion indicates so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, and so the motion carries on the budget and millage for the CRA or the DDB. Now we'll move on to downtown South NID. This is the second of two public hearings for the adoption of the millage rate and budget for the downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District for fiscal year 21-22. The first hearing held on September 13th, City Council adopted the proposed millage rate and tentative budget. At the second hearing, City Council will consider for adoption the final millage rate and budget. Madam Clerk, would you read the title? Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District Millage Resolution, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Orlando, Florida, and the Board of Directors of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District, levying an ad valorem tax at the rate of $1 per $1,000 of assessed value on non-exempt real property located within the jurisdictional boundaries of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District, providing certain findings, providing for administrative millage adjustment in accordance with Florida statutes, providing for the collection of taxes, providing for the severability, correction of scrivener's error, repeal of conflicting resolutions, and an effective date. So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Sheehan, second by Commissioner Hill. The proposed millage rate for the Downtown South NID for fiscal year 21-22 is 1 mil, which is 2.9% higher than the rollback rate of 0.9718. Michelle. On July 19th, City Council's Board of Directors of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District set a millage rate of 1 mil. That millage rate was proposed and approved at the first budget hearing on September 13th. An advertisement ran in the Orlando Sentinel last Thursday, September 23rd. This final millage rate has remained the same throughout the entire fiscal year 2022 budget development, is within the parameters outlined by state formula, has not changed from the prior year, and is to provide administration and infrastructure projects within the district. Madam Clerk, is there any public comment requests on the millage rate? No, Mayor. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? So the motion carries. Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the budget resolution? Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District Board Budget Resolution, 
a resolution of the City Council of the City of Orlando, Florida, and the Board of Directors of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District adopting the fiscal year 2021-2022 budget for the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District, providing certain findings, providing certain budget accounting procedures, providing for severability, correction of scrivener's error, repeal of conflicting resolutions, and an effective date. So move. Motion by Commissioner Sheehan. Second. Second by Commissioner Hill. Michelle. The total proposed budget for the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District is approximately $926,000 and has not changed since our first budget hearing on September 13th. The final budget and brief was posted to the city's website on September 3rd and other budget documents have been available on the city's website since late July. Any requests for public comment? No, Mayor. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, and so the motion carries. <laughs> All right, if there's no objection, we're going to recess the city council meeting and we're going to convene as the board of directors for the downtown state south neighborhood improvement district. It, it, excuse me, Mayor. Before we do that, I need to uh, read a statement into the record uh, that I ne neglected to do so uh, on the resolution adopting the budget. Okay, we're going to reconvene the city without objection. We will reconvene. The City Council meeting. Commissioner Burns, you're recognized. Sure, thank you. Uh, as you know, I serve as the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Healthcare Center for the Homeless. The City's budget for this year and for several years prior to my service on the City Council has included funds that provide grant funding to the Healthcare Center for the Homeless. None of that money goes towards my compensation. Additionally, these funds would not be granted to the Health Center, a Healthcare Center for the Homeless, unless and until the city and the health center enter in a, into a separate written agreement. Such agreements will come bef uh, back before the city council for individual approval in the future, and I want to make it clear that when this specific item comes before the council, I will abstain from voting on any funding agreement between the city and the health care center for the homeless and will fill out the proper paperwork required for noting this information and provide it to the city clerk. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. All right, we'll try that again. We'll adjourn the City Council meeting without objection, and then we'll convene the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District meeting. This is the second of two public hearings for the adoption of the millage rate and budget for the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District for fiscal year 21-22. First hearing held September 13th, the Board of Directors adopted the proposed millage rate tentative budget. At the second hearing, the Board of Directors We'll consider for adoption the final millage rate and budget. Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the millage resolution? Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District Millage Resolution. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Orlando, Florida, and the Board of Directors of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District levying an ad valorem tax at the rate of $1 per $1,000 of assessed value on non-exempt real property located within the jurisdictional boundaries of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District providing certain findings, providing for administrative millage, millage adjustment in accordance with Florida statutes, providing for the collection of taxes, providing for severability, correction of scrivener's error, repeal of conflicting resolutions, and an effective date. So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Sheehan, second by Commissioner Hill. The proposed millage rate for the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District for fiscal year 21-22 is one mill, which is 2.90% higher than the rolled back rate of 0.97. One eight. We have a motion. We'll incorporate Michelle's comments from the city council meeting. Is there any request for public comment? No, Mayor. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. All right, Madam Clerk, would you read the title of the budget resolution? Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District Board Budget Resolution. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Orlando, Florida, and the Board of Directors of the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District adopting the fiscal year 2021-2022 budget for the Downtown South Neighborhood Improvement District, providing certain findings, providing certain budget accounting procedures, providing for separability, correction of scrivener's error, repeal of conflicting resolutions, and an effective date. So moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Sheehan, second by Commissioner Hill. Once again, we'll incorporate the remarks from the city council meeting. Is there any request for public comment? No, Mayor. Is there discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion indicate so by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? And so the motion carries. 
Michelle, thank you to you and your staff. You guys have done yeoman's work again this year. Budget going on without yes. a hitch. Why don't you guys stand up? And let's get yes, thank you. Any further thoughts, Michelle? No, thank you very much. Thank you for for um, passing the budget and thank you for the team. And I wanna thank also um, our department directors, division managers, their fiscal staff, um, and of course you all, so thank you. Chris, you have any final thoughts? No, all good. All right, then if there's no objection, we will stand adjourned. Thank you.